Yo there guys, what is happening? Welcome back to another video and today is the first video in a brand new series that I'm starting called The Future Of. Now, what this will be, it's going to be a theme park related one, uh, theme park related sort of series and what I'm going to do is I'm going to be talking about uh, the future of certain rides. So in each video I will be telling you what I personally think the future of said ride of that episode is. So, will I see things added? Will I see it close? Or stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, today's, the first episode is about the future of Ter um, sorry, Tomb Blaster at Chessington World of Adventures. Now, before I talk about what the future is of the ride, let's talk about what the history of the ride is. So, in 1987, the Fifth Dimension ride opened at Cheddington. Um, when it first opened, it was the first major special effects attraction of its kind in the UK. And a bit more facts about it, it opened in 1987 and closed in 1993. It's a dark ride, Manufactured by Mac Rides, uh, Fifth Dimension was designed by Two Swords Studio back in back when Two Swords owned uh, all the Merlin property. Well, what is now Merlin property? Uh, it's a proto. It was a prototype dark ride transit, and it was themed to cyberspace. It had a capacity of 1,200 people uh, riders per hour. Had five vehicles, and it lasted for seven minutes. Uh, and the ride was designed that cars could stop and rotate to whatever was happening in the scene. Obviously, it is the same transit system now. When it opened, it was considered a disappointment and it did not attract enough attendance. So, yeah, it closed at the end of 1993 and was then replaced in 1994 with Terra Tomb. And Terra Tomb, once again, manufactured by Mac Rides. It was a dark ride. Uh, the difference between Fifth Dimension and Terra Tomb, not much. Same building, but instead of having a cyberpunk theme, it now had an ancient Egyptian theme, which mixed dark humour with ghost train horror. And, yeah, once again, not much changed. Still lasted seven minutes, but it was designed now by... Pharma Studios with music composed by Graham Smart. Uh, Graham Smart, who has done audio for Chessington in the past. Graham Smart did the music for the original music for Vampire at Chessington, which is celebrating 30 years this year. Um, I think that they've they've said they're going to be doing something for it. So I'm definitely going to be handed down to that once we know what they're going to do for Vampire's 30th. Because I, I, I absolutely love Vampire. It's one of the main reasons why I still go to Chessington. It's absolutely brilliant. It's a brilliant coaster. But back on to the history of Terra Tomb. So yeah, obviously Graham Smart did the music for Terra Tomb and Vampire. Um, Terra Tomb opened in 1994 and closed in 2001. Um, it was mainly because the horror content, uh, it was a bit considered odd because at the time Chessington was going down a family route and they still are now, they still are. So yeah, it closed at the end of 2001 and then in 2002 we got what we currently now have is Tomb Blaster. Uh, opened in 2002, designed, uh, Obviously, still same ride, Mac ride, Stark ride, but once again, Two Swords designed it. Um, so yeah, now it had sort of laser guns. Now, um, now, what do I think the future of this ride is? Now, I will not lie. I do like Tomb Blaster. In my opinion, I do enjoy it. I think it's a good 
ride. Like, I'll admit, when I first did it, I wasn't a massive fan. I'll be honest. When it, when I first did it, I wasn't a massive fan, but I've grown to slightly like it. Like, the set design is brilliant in there. I do like the spinning tunnel in there, which is pretty cool. And I do like the element of when you have your photo taken, you can then see when you go to get your photo at the end, like it tells you your score, which I think is a pretty cool little element. Um, yeah, what do I think the future of um, Tomb Blaster? I think it's still got a bit of life left in it. Now, obviously, over the uh, summer period of 2015 up to the start of the 2016 season, they did do some minor refurbishment to it, uh, which sadly got very negative reviews. Uh, obviously, I've, I first went to Chesington in 2018. Uh, my first ever vlog from Chesington is actually up here on the channel. So if you um, click on the eye, it's in one of these corners, click on the eye and you'll be able to go watch that vlog back when, was it before I had green hair or was it after? This is so unprofessional. Hold on, let me check. It was before I had green hair. Oh my god. Yeah, so click on the eye and you can go watch that vlog. It's not bad, it's a less than four minute vlog. Not much longer than most of the vlogs I do nowadays, but it's still a good watch because it's my genuine reactions, you know, so why not? But yeah, let's talk about what I personally would do to uh, Doom Blaster if I were asked to design it. Firstly, I'd probably give it a name change. I think I'd re-theme it, personally. Um, I'd like to see maybe a similar theme to what they had back when they did Fifth Dimension, or I'd like it to become a more of a storyline sort of attraction. Uh, I know when it was Terror Tomb, it had a bit of a storyline. I'd like, I'd like to see them, or I'd put make it a story based attraction, maybe. I'd create maybe a story that goes throughout the whole experience from start to finish, you know. Um, thing is about Chesington, when they, they do, they, when they put a good storyline to, to a attraction, they can do it. And I think another thing is also Chesington's probably the only Merlin Park that can actually do a good IP attraction, in my opinion. I think they can actually do a really good, um, like, it's just like a genuine good storyline attraction, in my opinion. Um, I'd keep the ride system. I wouldn't change that. Pretty much all I'm saying is I'd just give it a proper storyline and make it a non-IP story-based attraction. You know, obviously the sets would get changed. Um... I'd probably try to keep it all, um, I'd try to keep it animatronics inside, but I would also update certain bits, like, I think I'd give it all new audio, or something, I don't know, I don't know. I'm not the best person to be doing this, but, yeah, in summary, um, how much longer do I think Toon Blaster's got? In honesty, I can't see it being open by the end of this decade. By 2030, I can I can guarantee it's probably going to be either gone or it's going to be rethemed or something. Um, obviously, the ride has been open since 1987, so it's been open now for 33 years. You know, it's been open 33 years. I think it's time for it to go. Uh, I'd like to see it last until its 40th anniversary in 2027. 
But if I'm truthfully honest, I think it will probably go somewhere between 2021 and 2025. I can see it going within the next five years, in my opinion. I could be wrong, I could be right. You know, like, I was right about Walking Dead the Ride up in the pre-show back then. What the... Why am I... Oh, Jesus Christ. But yeah, anyway, that's my prediction on what is the future of Toon Blaster at Chessington World of Adventures. Comment down below what you think. Do you agree with me? Would you make it a story-based attraction or what? Let me know, guys. And also, um... Thanks for 320 subscribers. We are now, well, we're now on 321 now. So we are, s we're 79 away from 400. And we're, we're slowly creeping up to 20,000 views as well. So thank you. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Um, I'm definitely going to do another one of these. Um, I don't know what the next one, like the next future video will be. I don't know. I want to do more Chessington sort of ride, ride futures, but I also want to do Thorpe, because Thorpe is an interesting subject, as always. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, punch that subscribe button in the face, drop a, drop a like, drop a comment, and if you have any video ideas, suggest them to me. And also, we're about to start the UK theme park season. Um, I'm going to be doing a video soon talking about what the plans are for 2020 as well as talking to you, telling you guys about some of the opening days I'm going to. Um, but yeah, thank you very much guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.